the very scripted fumble by Lamar Jackson that I have correctly predicted. I went with a fumble over an interception for Lamar Jackson. You figure that the turnover was going to decide the game. Pretty much it did. Chiefs get the ball, begin the second half. The golden child, Money Mahomes, is not blowing a 10-point lead. It was basically 14-7. to Is this going to be like last week? Oh, it's the Chiefs and the Bills scoring every play. Is this going to happen again? But no, Lamar Jackson at the Baltimore 36. Fumbles the ball. Recovered by the Chiefs at the Baltimore 33-yard line. It's the Chiefs are going to rematch against the Niners from Super Bowl 54 on the 33rd day. The Ravens will make it to the Super Bowl next year to improve the 3-3 three and three in the AFC title game. Cleveland is where the Ravens came from. Cleveland is Gamachu 33. Uh, the Ravens had 86 total yards of offense at the time of the fumble. Las Vegas is Gamachu 86. And uh, how did I predict it? Well, Las Vegas is Gamachu 23. It's also fumble that's Gamachu 23 and 59. Lamar Jackson does fumble it away to the Kansas City Chiefs, but Lamar will win Super Bowl 59 after this very costly fumble. And so Fumble decided this game, uh, we haven't really seen any fumbles in, 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 in the playoffs at, uh, with the Super Bowl at Las Vegas, but here we did see it. You know, Lamar's going to come back after this fumble. He's going to win Super Bowl 59. You can see all the videos at the end, but basically the Chiefs have 16 first downs, and Andy Reid is going to win his 16th playoff game with the Chiefs. Kelsey's going to win the 16th playoff game. Uh, you know, Taylor's a 16 light path. It's all about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Uh, Chiefs in 43 plays in the first half. Las Vegas, Nevada is Gamacha 23. As I've correctly predicted, you needed numerology. Patrick Mahomes is 23, 5 light path. The Ravens fought a 2 and 3 in the AFC title game after a fumble. The Super Bowl at Las Vegas. So, Ravens had zero chance. We correctly predicted that. The Ravens are done. They toast. Uh, the three and out to begin the game. It was kind of telling you where it was heading. Uh, it's a pretty easy call because you had to look at the Ravens for next year. You had to look at Lamar Jackson as far as he goes. As far as where his key significant events of his career, what Super Bowl it really connects to, it doesn't connect to this year. Us smart sly foxes out there, they were not going to be us at all. The global people were going to really think Las Vegas was going to hand out free cash with a Super Bowl logo sign up of the teams playing in the last two, uh, two Super Bowls uh, represented the colors of the logo. There's zero chance they're going to have it happen a third year. But as I've correctly predicted, as I've said all season long, this was all by design. Las Vegas is going to make record-breaking profits before the Super Bowl. Now, everybody illegal to bet in California, driving Las Vegas to bet, they losing all their money. Las Vegas is not paying out all these people from California. They are cooked. Nobody thought the Chiefs would win the AFC before the playoffs began. They were all right in Baltimore. They were all right in the red-hot Buffalo Bills. But here we are at halftime right here with the Chiefs getting the ball. The 24 points at the half represents the fact that Lamar Jackson falls to 2-4 and four in the playoffs and he will face off against the Lions in the next year's Super Bowl. Lions is Camacho at 24. Uh, the Ravens won't get the number one seat next year. The Ravens, when they win the Super Bowl, it's usually they play in the wild card round. They beat the Steelers in the wild card, then they beat the Colts in the wild card. But 6-4 and four play a fucking Lamar Jackson. New Orleans Saints is Camacho 64. It's Kamala Harris that's born in the year 64. I've explained how Kamala, first female president, connects to the Lions, transferring ownership from a female to another female, Shelia Ford, all of that, what have you. The Civil Rights uh, Act was passed in 1964, too. Civil Rights is Camacho 64. You think about the first uh, black president, Barack Obama. Well, they're white supremacists. Uh, 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 the political elites are supremacists, too. So, you know... Obama's really half white, half black, but here we are. Barack Hussein Obama, 64. Lamar Jackson can prove the 6-4 and four in the Super Bowl. Uh, he, can, he will improve the 6-4 and four in the playoffs when he wins the Super Bowl against a former quarterback of the Rams. We're talking about Jared Goff. And uh, Dan Campbell's also come out to 64. And now, the thing about... Jared Goff, was he won the NFC title at New Orleans at the same, said he can make it back to the Super Bowl at New Orleans. So this is what I've kind of been saying all along as far as the Lions and the Ravens goes for next year. But a key costly fumble, but Lamar's time will come, Super Bowl 59. Uh, uh, 
best video though to to to, to watch is is gonna have to be the one on the Mars scoring fifty nine points and uh, as the full time starter to begin that season week one over over at his uh birthday. But uh, here we are. Uh, you know, Lamar's coming back next year. It's it's all good. Um, you know, uh, the Ravens did lose their 13th playoff game today. Uh, and the 13th uh, playoff loss connects to the uh, 13th Amendment uh, that abolished slavery. I think there are 13 black quarterbacks to win the Super Bowl before Doug Williams won the Super Bowl. Maybe he was the 13th quarterback, so 13 prior Super Bowl winning quarterbacks or uh, the, 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 the 13th one was Doug Williams. So it does connect to Doug Williams. As I talked about, he's born at Louisiana and next year's Super Bowl is at Louisiana. So, you know, people are going to doubt Lamar Jackson's ability to win again. He's going to have a... Will, 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 will he have a bad half? He will probably have a bad half. This is what would make the storyline remarkable for Lamar Jackson next year. It ain't just about Joe Burrow coming back, what have you, but Lamar coming back from this playoff loss to do... The, the damage to do the goods. Again, it's over. The Chiefs have won the Super Bowl, and uh, the Ravens will win the next year. But was Mahomes really going to lose against Golden Boy, Blue Eye, Patrick Mahomes? No, because NFL is white supremacists. Again, we told you they were never going to let Jalen Hurts beat Patrick Mahomes last year. Here we are again. Same exact script. Subliminal white supremacist ritual in plain sight right there. The Chiefs went 5 of 9 in third down, Super Bowl 59, Lamar's year, 9 passing first downs, 9 three-peat against the Niners. You know, it's just insanely scripted how this end, end, ends up being. It's, it's, it's out of this world. 64 passing yards for the Ravens in the first half, and Lamar Jackson, you know, is going to be 6-4 and four in the playoffs when he wins the Super Bowl. That's all, that's what it comes down to at the end of the day.